Magic is that instrument that mankind can use to reaffirm their presence in the world uh, in a moment of crisis. The Italian Pavilion is titled Il Mondo Magico, or The Magical World, and brings together three artists, Roberto Cuoghi, Adelita Usnibei, and uh, Giorgio Andreotta Calò, whose work is very rich in references to magic, imagination, fantasy, and uh, poetry. The first artist that you encounter in the pavilion is Roberto Cuoghi, who has transformed the first hall of the pavilion into an actual factory of making sculptures. Important to notice is that the sculptures are all of the same subject, which is Jesus. It's always the same mold, but what changes is the materials these sculptures are made. The second area is the incubation moment in which the statues of Jesus are brought into this inflatable structure. They rest there for a few weeks and they start growing a mold while at the same time their bodies shrink, which transform the sculptures, creating this sort of cycle of life and death throughout the show. The final moment for Roberto is the exhibition part where they are shown hanging on the wall and only at that point they really become sculptures. Nationalism in art and at the Biennale shouldn't be seen as an example necessarily of the division of our world, but actually on the contrary as a polyphony of voices that come together in one place. And this kind of rhizome of uh, references and connections is what makes the Venice Biennale quite unique. I think choosing the theme of magic was not uh, a way of only talking about spirituality and individuality, but it's really an instrument that artists have and give us to, to read the world and to face the world, especially in a moment like this. So uh, I hope visitors can see this pavilion not as a, you know, as a bubble that does not really reflect our time, but it actually uh, talks very much about what's going on right now in the world.